What's up, what's up, man? You know what I'm saying? You back with your boy, you know what I'm saying? Being there, Charlie, man. We're gonna talk about it, man. You know what I mean? Your boy, Joel Santana, back at it again, man. Just dropped this project, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I just don't understand why he dissing Cam, you know what I'm saying? I, I don't understand what's, what's the beef about, what's the nature behind this situation like this, man. I feel like it was, um, don't need to be done, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, uh, a lot of times when you have artists like this, man, you know what I'm saying, the frustration of being locked down and got to do time and stuff like that, but you can't blame Cam for that, you know what I'm saying? And y'all built, a, y'all built a, a hell of a brand with the diplomats or whatever, you know what I'm saying? The, t- the, the whole team was official, you know what I'm saying, as far as when it comes to the rap thing, you know what I'm saying, with uh, 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 Hell Rail and um, J.R. Ryder, 40 Cal, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I listen to it, man. It, it, it's classic Joel Santana, good lyricist, man. But I feel like the Cam this at, at this point in his career just seemed kind of crazy, man. And I feel like a lot of people ain't going to support it. You know what I mean? They ain't supporting the Cam disses, especially when Cam ain't saying nothing but good things about you. So when you when you on platforms like that with the music and putting something like that out to the public, this ain't gonna be perceived well, especially when you got caught at the airport with the gun, you know what I'm saying, running when everybody know who you is, they had your information, there not no reason to go nowhere. You just gonna go down, point blank period. You know what I'm saying, I want no way you to run or hide or nothing like that, man. A lot of people just feel like uh, Joel's, as far as his career, man, he just uh, abusing drugs too much, and that's what Cam was saying, man. I remember they was joking on about his teeth and all of that. You know what I'm saying, he was messing with the lean too hard. And I feel like this is a bad look for him. I feel like it's better to, like, like Lil' Romeo was saying on the um the Breakfast Club interview, man, it's better for us to stand together than to stand apart and to have negative energy, you know what I'm saying, where, where everybody going against one another. You know what I'm saying, a lot of things, uh, I've seen a lot of people come in that gym, you know what I'm saying, more than Cam. Like, not too many people were coming in that Cam like that, you know what I'm saying, that was a part of the Diplomats or Bird Gang, you know what I'm saying, and uh, Skull Gang or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Everybody had a separate venture. I just feel like Jim Jones and um, Cam was able to uh, come from out of the Rockefeller situation and build their brands up and build their companies up, you know what I'm saying? And be able to make uh, sacrifices to, to eat for a long period of time. I just think uh, Jewels was was right there with Wayne, becoming one of the uh, greatest rappers to touch the mic. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like Jewels had dropped the ball or his team or whoever was holding them back wasn't allowing him to release the music or, or get to the, uh, the 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 point that he needed to be at. You know what I'm saying? 50 Cent seen Division. You know what I mean? And everybody that listened to Jewel seen how great of a lyricist he was and who he is when he touched the booth. You know what I'm saying? Super Saiyan Goku type shit. You know what I'm saying? When he hit that booth, man, she, he, he made magic happen, man. Point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's why I be feeling like they don't got to, Jewel's and them don't got to do that. They can sit down and have a conversation, bro. You know what I'm saying? I seen what Petey Crap was saying. He had a little issue with uh, Jewels or whatever, and there wasn't even no issue. When people, when two men sit down, you know what I'm saying, and just uh, discuss their issue instead of everybody biting each other's heads off like um, alligators and fucking lions and shit, and just sit back and have a conversation, man. That's all it takes. You know what I'm saying? And I would I would rather his project not have no disc records on that joint. I know it supposed to create a buzz, but I feel like it's a, a wrong type of message to send to the people, especially when everybody got love for Cam and, and Jim and, and, and Joel's also. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we don't need to bring the negative energy, man. You know what I'm saying? I feel like uh, how Hell Real handled it, I like the way he did that. You know what I'm saying? Even though I know he got his first grace as well as J.R. Ryder. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, at the end of the day, everybody, man, and everybody got their own business and their own structure of what they can do. J.R. J. Ryder can write and he can perform and do music. You know what I'm saying? The same with Jewel. Jewel is one of the greatest that ever touched him right. You know what I mean? He might not got all the accolades right now, but as far as the streets and the people that listen to his music, we know what Jewel is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's definitely a, a hell of a gem, a hell of a, hell of a spitter. You know what I'm saying? A person that, you know what I mean, is needed to be respected on all platforms and all forms, but dissing and doing a negative thing ain't the way to go man romeo was spitting real facts on the breakfast club man like i say master p see when you got a pops like master p 
You can't, you know what I'm saying? That's what I be trying to do. My my kids is, is getting on positive messages. When you got a pops like Master P, man, he always dropping gems and jewels on you. So when you grow, he grow into a man, he know how to handle situations. <clears throat> like the, uh, what was the, he on the, um, what was it? Growing up hip hop, the whole situation with that is how, how a man handle it without having to lash out and attack people. You know what I'm saying? He understand that the end of that shit be fate all scripted, you know what I'm saying? He know how to handle it like a man. Most people get emotional, you know what I'm saying? Marshmallow emotions and, and begin to react like an animal instead of being able to keep yourself in a good spirit and good conscience and be able to just be like, I'm not falling for that, that banana in the tailpipe type of thing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like Joel's doing that right now. It's a reality TV shit, you know what I'm saying? When you dissing Cam for what? <laughs> Cam, make, Cam providing for his family. Provided for his moms and his people, just like you did, man. Cam seen what you was. You know what I'm saying? You, can, you don't got to tell the world what you did for the dip. You know what I mean? Because everybody seen it, bro. Like, everybody seen how great you was as a lyricist. Nigga, can't nobody take that shit from Jewels. He was right there with Wayne, dog. Why well, you think Wayne was trying to work with him, put the project out? Them niggas was top, top to top. Lyricist type niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like Jewel, I don't know who stopped him, who was pushing his projects back or, you know what I mean? I don't know if it was Cam or Jay or Jim. I don't know who was behind that, but I feel like the, the, if 50 would have had him, boy, <laughs> I feel like 50 should have signed him and Jay Hood, man. That would have been a hell of a squad. Them young boys right there can spit. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they time got burnt out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I, the same thing with I feel like with Cassidy, man, like, don't three guys, when you talk Cassidy, Jay Hood, and Joel Santana, you talking about niggas that really was spitters and classic guys that put the, put that put that work in, that pain in on the microphones, man, and they gave it to you. It's like when you listen to Benny Siegel, you understand the story, you understand the feeling. You know what I'm saying? And um, I ain't with Joel's with the dissing shit. I'm with Joel's as a man, as a father, and as a hell of a lyricist. I ain't with him with that dissing cam type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Even though everybody know I'm a big, 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 big Cam fan. You know what I'm saying? I mean, big Cam fan, big Jim. I had every Jim Jones album. Had every Cam Ron album. Had every Jewels album. I had every fucking Dipset album, nigga. <laughs> I was a hell real fan, man. Like, all them niggas was spillers, man. You can't take nothing from the Diplomats, man. That's one of the most powerful rap movement that, that happened in hip-hop, dog. Everybody wanted to be Jim Jones. Everybody wanted to be Cam. Everybody want to be gangster like hell real. You know what I'm saying? So the distant thing, it don't it don't add up to no real shit, no real nigga shit. I just feel like a man and man, y'all too wrong for that bullshit, man. You know what I'm saying? That's some weak nigga shit. Like, nigga, look, look count. Hit me up on the jack, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? We need to talk. Even if we gotta throw punches in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's what real brothers do. They might have to, we might have to knock each other out for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Then talk about it later. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, dog. But that dissing shit, you know what I'm saying? That's all that own wax ass shit, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it ain't even needed, bro, because everybody know what you what you put into the game, bro. Like, what nigga gonna tell you that Joel Santana is a garbage rapper? Ain't no, nigga, nigga, nobody gonna ever tell you that Joel Santana is a garbage rapper. Niggas ain't feeling that movement he on, but nigga, ain't, ain't no garbage about Joel Santana rapping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Swag, none of that, you know what I'm saying? He a real nigga, but not, not this shit. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't gonna be feeling this shit, bro. Like, for real, dog. That nigga, that nigga need to fall back all the way with that shit. That shit lame, bro. 100%. Not no nigga like Joel. He ain't supposed to be doing no shit like that. You know what I'm saying? For real. You ate with them niggas, man. You made movies with these niggas, dog. Like, for real. Made deals with these niggas, dog. Went on concerts, and I mean, road trips and all that shit. These niggas, your brothers. You pull up. We might have to scrap all this bitch, but we're gonna get it done. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying, man. I don't like to see this shit, man. Black on black niggas dissing each other on some lame nigga shit. I'm glad Cam ain't respond back or do no shit like that. I would have been looking at Cam like he crazy. That's how Cam supposed to have to keep talking positive. A nigga want to keep coming on some stupid shit. Like, bro, come holler at me, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do all that gay ass shit. Like, nigga, come holler at me. We going to talk about the shit. You know what I'm saying? And we're handling it like, man, but the dissing shit, like, that shit going to get, that shit lame to niggas, man. Especially when y'all niggas was brothers, man. You know what I'm That's why I love Hell Real, bro. Hell Real know he, he done been done dirty, but he, he get on the platforms and he say, bro, you know what? I'm just happy for the opportunity he did give me. And just leave it at that, bro. Because we, we see the shit that's going on. 
But we understand there's a business thing with everything that niggas do, man. Everybody's just trying to feed their family, bro. And that ain't no real, it ain't no, it ain't no, no bash on nobody, nigga. If the nigga go on the interview and say some crazy nigga shit, then you can say that. But other than that, if he's saying something positive, you can't. You got to let niggas eat, you eat. And niggas just live their life. You know what I'm saying? Hell real still spitting that coat. <laughs> Hell real still spitting that shit. Joel still spitting that shit. But not that camera on this bullshit. You know what I'm saying? We ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Jim Jones still spitting that shit. You feel me? But I'm out, man. Being there, Charlie, man. Classic nigga, real nigga. You know what I'm saying? Tyler Park type shit. You know what I mean? North of VA. Love y'all, man. I appreciate all the love, man. Remember, support my wife, man. If you want to donate to my wife and the family, man. Cash tag, being there, Charlie, man. I appreciate everybody that's been donating and showing support for my wife, man. She healing up. She's getting better and better. You know what I mean? With y'all dedication and prayer and everybody that's been meditating positive energy for the family. Thank y'all for that, man. I appreciate every moment, every second. I'm out.